hello hello and welcome to Sonya's Beauty on this channel today I'm gonna bring you helpful tips that truly works it's using table salt outside of your house as well as on the inside of your house it can be the regular salt or it can be the iodide salt it doesn't really matter as long as you don't use Epsom salt Put it over one pound container of salt 44 cents you can't beat that now don't go and buy them I have to be careful what I say to y'all because y'all will do the opposite. Then you'll come back and tell me it won't damn work. And I know it's a lie because it works. I've used it inside of the house as well as outside of the house. There are different ways I'm going to show you how to do this. You're going to need some gloves for some of you. I don't care about my hand. But right now it's about learning something new inexpensively that works to kill off ants, crawling bugs, incense of any kind. Is good to put around the border of your house as well as the inside and outside now some of this salt we're going to use without diluting it with water so go ahead and get you about four or five boxes bottles of this salt and keep it in your house at all times let's go ahead and get into this because I'm talking too much this is my spray bottle that I purchased from Walmart you're gonna take your salt and just pour it in here we're gonna use eight ounces of salt. Okay, so inside this container, I put eight ounces. It has a measuring device on the side of this container, which is great. Now I'm gonna add some warm to hot water in this bottle. And you want to fill it up to the very top. Do not boil the water, you're just using regular hot tap water. Now your salt is at the bottom, you want to shake that up very well and let it dissolve. This is only pure salt, nothing else. This is my container, it's empty. Okay, so I poured the entire container of salt inside of my larger container. I'm going to take this over to my sink and fill this up with regular hot tap water. In a container like this, you can use a little bit more salt, but don't overdo it. I would say a container and a half if you want to do that. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is to protect the perimeter of the house as a preventive measure is to pour salt around the base of the house and this will keep all the crawling bugs and insects from coming into the house as well as kill grass that sometimes grow against the base of the house. Now, when you're using this salt, you have to be very careful because wherever it lands, it's going to kill it off. Just take a little bit and what you want to do is just sprinkle. As you can see, it's killing this off. Here's one here that's killing off. Now, you have to do this from time to time, but 44 cents and this is a natural way, it's worth it. Okay, if you don't want to do it that way, you can take the salt. If it rains, you're gonna to have to redo this. Okay, so you want to take your table salt and completely go around the entire perimeter of your house and you just want to lightly pour it against the base of the house. I did one side. I'm going to complete the other three sides. Okay, she scares the spider web here. They got to live too. But no, they have dogs. I'm trying to kill them. But anyway, there's a spider right here on the baseboard now. We're going to clean it up back here. But I don't know. Something about the salt. They just don't like salt. Right here, we have an active ant bed. You don't have to do anything to it. Take your table salt and just pour it on top.
No, it's a fourth and average. Where they came from? Ain't been growing up, folks. That's the first time they grew, right? That's your stuff you made. You need salt water. Oh, you salt and water. That's it. The day after? This is one of the ant beds. I just stepped on it and nothing came out. Now, if you have the larger ant bed, it's gonna take a while. It may take a little bit more effort for it's applying more salt, but this is a more natural way to do it without any chemicals. neighbor for about an hour in between doing this I know my neck is toasted now I didn't use the bigger container that I did put the salt in because when you got kids it just ain't gonna be right it's not gonna be right I got teenage kids somebody took a nozzle off so I couldn't use that so now I got to go and find one so that's why I was left with just using this small spray bottle but whenever you're doing yard work that's a process. Go through the process and you're going to be glad that you did take the time to do the because in the end it's going to pay off. I hope this is going to be very helpful for you and your family. And like I said, you can do it. You can kill off the insects, crawling bugs, keep the spiders away from keep them from around your house. You can kill your grass where you don't want grass to grow. You can kill weeds. You can protect the perimeter of the house. Just go around the house with it. You can also do the inside of your house. If you have kids, let me say this. When we're talking about doing the inside of your house, you have to do it with caution. Better yet, you probably don't want to do it on the inside because if you have babies and small kids, they may get into it. So just do around the base of wherever you don't want bugs to be and they will not come, okay? And I tell you, if you got some of them kind of people that get on your damn nerves, 
you'd be surprised what it'll do for them too. So I hope you have enjoyed the time we share together. Until next time, be blessed. I'm gonna sit out here and chill out for a minute. And keep it moving.